So, teen movies. 90s teen movies specifically. They sure are something. There are plenty of movies that fit into this genre, but one that caught my attention is She's All That, mainly because a gender swapped TikTok remake was released in 2021. You may be wondering why I want to talk to you about this movie from 1999 and uh, 2021. Well, I'll be frank. I didn't like this movie. I didn't like the remake either. Romance films can be either hit or miss with me, but these were both misses. It's really about the concept, making an ugly person popular, when the protagonist is inherently the flawed one, also an ugly person that's already conventionally attractive. I'm aware that both these films were based on older stage plays, but they've been rewritten and marketed as team films. So that means a lot of corny dialogue and scenes that make me want to die. But the concept fascinates me. I'll give you a brief summary of both films, in case you haven't seen them. She's All That, released in 1999, is about jock Zack Siler who gets dumped by his girlfriend Taylor and reckons he can make any girl popular. His asshole friends dare him to make Lainey Boggs, an unpopular art student, popular. So Jack, so Zack does just that. The two bond and Zack learns about Lainey's interests and Lainey learns about none of his because he doesn't have any. <laughs> At the obligatory school prom, because, you know, it's a high school movie, they all have them. Zack enlists his sister to make Lainey beautiful, which of course involves removing her glasses and letting down her hair and all of that conventionally attractive BS. Zack ex humiliates her at the prom, and the deal is revealed. Lainey runs off crying. Zack's asshole friend tries to seduce Lainey, and in the end, Zack has to save her like a nice and shining armor he is. Then he gets naked because of some, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, and they get together. It's like having learned nothing. So you see, it's just like... So that's why, yeah, the woman... It's essentially in Lainey changed, even though Zack was the one who needed to change, if you get what I mean. The 2021 remake, He's All That, follows a largely similar plot, but with a difference. TikTok is there. The main character is a TikTok influencer who finds herself humiliated when her boyfriend cheats on her and she loses all her sponsorship deals. To redeem herself, she has to turn this antisocial loser into the prom king. Like in the 99 film, they get closer and bond and all that. In an attempt to ensure Paget's loss, who's the TikTok girl by the way, Alden exposes the bet she made with Paget, which makes the boy, the boy, who now believes that Paget only loved him because of the bet, angry. On the day of the prom, Paget's mum still wants her to go and tells her to be the person she's always been and not the person she was before. She was a social influencer. Isn't that so deep? So the guy, Cameron, doesn't show up, and then Paget declines her role as prom queen. She then meets up with him at school riding on a horse because he's a horse boy, and kisses him. And then following the events after the prom, they ga she gains her following back because, you know, society and all that. And then now she, and then she gets her, and then she becomes like a traveller and she travels around with her boyfriend or something. <laughs> so you kind of cringe because, yeah, she's, I don't know, she just, she's cringe. <laughs> so how would I write this movie? At the end of the day, I can see the appeal. It's a cheesy romance film, both iterations. But my favourite kind of romance is the one where all parties involved learn a lesson. Maybe I go into these romance films with too much IQ, too many expectations. It's fine if you like these films the way they are. It's fair enough, I'm not gonna insult you because everyone has different tastes. Also, I just wanted to add that there's like a spin-off spoof movie of He's All That, which She's All That, that came out in like the thousands called Not Another Teen Movie. This movie is basically meant to be like a spoof. It's a pretty cringy uh, spin-off, if you ask me, it's just like, doesn't really do anything, it's just like, you know, plays it pretty straight. If it was me doing a spoof, I would have just, you know, completely flipped the tropes on the head, but like, I don't know, the comedy thing in a, not another teen movie doesn't really do that, just plays it pretty straight, so, uh, yeah. My cats are fighting right in front of me. But for me, I want to see something more satisfactory with these films. So here's my version. In the 99 film, the main character is kind of a misogynistic pig, but to put it nicely, since, you know, especially him and all of his friends, and Dean, who we'll uh, get to later. I would keep the concept of the characters as the same as the original 99 film, mainly because TikTok is cringe, and the beginning would play out the same as the original film. I would f but I would flesh out Zack's character. What are his hobbies? American football? Ice skating? I don't know. Lainey also takes interest in his hobbies, which makes him realise that he doesn't need to pretend for her sake all the time. She gets into him as much as he is into her. Perhaps they want to make each other try out new stuff. This really makes Zack realise how fake his relationship was with his ex, and that he can actually enjoy spending time and hanging out with his girlfriend. 
This slowly makes him feel more and more guilty about the whole bed thing. You know, slow burn romance. Well, imagine actually wanting to spend time with your significant other. In the end, Zack works up the courage to confess the truth about the bet to Lainey, but also tells her that like, he does genuinely love her for who she is now. Unfortunately, it's also the, it's at the prom night, which makes Lainey take off in tears. Zack finds out he's been nominated for prom king, and his ex-girlfriend tries to get with him since she's been nominated for prom queen. She, also, she tells him if he leaves, he'll be a mockery of the school forever. Meanwhile, the depressed Lainey, who is also a candidate for prom queen, is being followed by Zack's creepo friend Dean. Zack's pride is put to the test. His ex offers him the chance to get back together with her and recover his image. Catalani, who is still really upset. Dean tries to do something, you know, to her. But Lainey blows an air horn in his face, making him knock out. Suddenly, Zack shows up, looking emotional himself. He apologises for what he did, telling Lainey she's more important to him than the prom. This is when he realises he's the one who needs to change, not her, since she was already beautiful all along. Cut to Zack getting a makeover scene, then he and Lady dance together in a more private setting. Also, he punches that asshole Dean. Lainey at the end tells Zack that she's not really ready to move into a relationship with him, but the two decide to stay friends. They may possibly get together in the future or not, who knows, or they might find other people. I think Lainey has like another friend in the movie, she could probably get with him because she knows him a lot better than Zack. <laughs> That's really the message here, since it's clear to me that Zack's the one who needs to change. The movie is about him when it pretends to be about Lainey. No, keep the focus on him. I don't want this to be a case of a woman fixing a beast or whatever. Actually spending quality time with her makes Zack realise how he's been treating women. Also, Dean can go die in a fire or any of it. <laughs> I'm not saying this is the right way to go about writing a film such as this. It's obviously not as marketable as the original. As I said, if you like either or both films, good for you. But I think there's a much better way to show the ramifications of this concept. Maybe what bugs me is the presumption is that someone needs to change simply because of the way they look or behave. They have to be fixed when they could be fine just the way they are. Maybe the people who think that are the ones who need to change. I said change too many times. That's really how I would go about writing it. I wouldn't bother with the TikTok film, I just... No TikTok. I'm begging you. Also because the main actress is like a terrible actor. <laughs> That's ultimately my opinions on she's all that or he's all that or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, that's... I would just want the message to be how, like... How you never know who's gonna be the one who's gonna change their mind or change their personality at the end because, you know... All experiences hit us differently. That's just what bothered me about the original movie and I think, you know, I think... I think that's just a much more compelling message than what the original movie was showing us. But I guess that, I mean, I suppose you, not every movie needs to have like a moral at the end of it, but I just think it makes more, more for more interesting characters and a more interesting story than what the original had. And maybe I'm just sick of teen movies and like makeover scenes where it's just like they take off the glasses and stuff. <laughs> well, anyway, I really have no idea why my videos keep changing all the time. I'll figure this channel out someday and maybe I'll post consistent videos, I don't know, where I'm not just talking about like changing the subject every video where it's like an animatic and then it's like a an analysis of some weird, weird show from 10 years ago, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye! You can't enjoy this without sharing it with like 500 strangers? 500? Try 887,132. And they're not strangers, they're followers. Followers? You mean like a cult? <laughs>